All right, I had some people who wanted to see actual gameplay uh, while running an eGPU. And I've got some counters on the screen there. You can see that uh, we're running Genshin on high. We should probably be at ultra, but we're on high right now just because I didn't change the settings. But uh, you can see that the CPU is doesn't have much to do. It kind of moves around between uh, 18, no, it looks like it's right around 18 watts. I've seen it as low as tw is 12, but I think it's because it doesn't have work to do. Uh, we're capped at 60 frames a second. Um, so, looks pretty good. We'll load up uh, a few more games here, but for those of you that want to see this in action, this eGPU, there's not latency that's noticeable, at least in this game so far. Really strict 60 frames per second on this uh, beastly GPU we have here. So let's move over to Shadow of the Tomb Raider. Okay, so I haven't actually played this game, although I use it for benchmarks all the time, so I don't have like, I can't just go like straight to the, to gameplay, but what I can do is I can uh, run this benchmark. Uh, I'm going to zoom it in so you guys can see what the GPU is doing. Um, this is the CPU wattage and that's the GPU wattage. So the GPU is pulling 92 watts. Our frame rate is, is 60 right there. And um, we're going to go ahead and run the benchmark so you guys can take a look at and see how smooth and consistent the frame rate is even on an eGPU that's porting out and into the to the Surface Books display. Package power is 37 watts, guys. And uh, we've got the 120 hertz turned on the screen. So this is this is a good benchmark here because we've got some wattage. This is kind of a CPU intensive and a GPU intensive game. Uh, the resolution right now we're on we're on high settings and 1920 by 1200. So if you're trying to compare this to a 1080p score at those settings, it's not going to quite work just because I have changed it for the aspect ratio. I'll say that glossy screen is uh, picks up a lot of reflections. <laughs> So one thing that's interesting, you can see the, the CPU is kind of bouncing around. It Right now it's probably at its upper limit around 1920 watts like we've seen. Um, but when it doesn't need it, when it was just that pointed at the mountains, the CPU power was not pushing, which is good because it's not wasting, I mean it's peaking to over 20 when it needs to, which is awesome. Because uh, we're just sitting here, we don't uh, have... I mean, I'm not doing anything special here, and it's just pulling 22 watts whenever it feels like it, whenever it needs the power. 
and of course the GPU's got plenty of them uh, being a 3060 and keep in mind uh, if you're using an external monitor rather than uh, using the surfaces display itself you would get even better performance uh, on an external display just because the, the GPU wouldn't have bandwidth issues. Okay so those of you who wanted to see that uh, we had an average of 43 frames per second and it looks like it, a lot of the time like it wasn't just CPU bound uh, or GPU bound uh, so anyways uh, hopefully this is useful to those of you who were asking for this Thanks for watching.